there everybody, it's John here and welcome to today's free tip. Uh, I've been getting some requests for sweet picking and you know sweet picking is a pretty big subject and there's a lot of things that we could talk about um, regarding sweet picking so I thought I'd give you a head start in this lesson with your basic technique and uh, there's a lot of different ways that you can approach sweet picking but this is the way that uh, I've been doing it and it seems to work for me fairly well. So what I'm going to do is show you uh, a couple of slow and maybe medium tempo exercises. I actually have a metronome set up here and I'll give you a couple of exercises that you can run uh, <clears throat> to get your sweet picking technique in shape. Now I chose this camera angle today so that you can see the right hand picking uh, because obviously that's the key for sweet picking. It's a right hand technique. Now I'm going to give you two arpeggio forms. Some of you may already know these so just uh, bear with me while I go over them for the people who don't know them. Today I'm going to be using an A minor arpeggio or a triad and it's uh, based here on the 12th fret. Okay, I'm using a bar chord but I'll show you all the notes in just a second. And the second that I'm going to use is going to be a G major, which is a whole step down. Uh, root note is on A string, 10th fret. Now, um, I'll give you those two forms because now you at least have a major shape and a minor shape that you can work with and um, use them accordingly and uh, move them to different keys. So for now, I want to show you um, first the notes that we're going to use in the A minor arpeggio shape here. So let's uh, rotate over here. So I'm going to use A, which is a uh, 12th fret A string. I'll just call out the, uh, the frets and strings for you. So we got 12th fret A string. And this is uh, 15th fret A string, 14th fret D string. We have 14th fret G string, 13th fret on the B string, and 12th fret on the high E string. So the notes that gives us is our A minor triad or A minor chord. Uh, so we got A, C, E, A, C, E. Now I'm going to stretch with the fourth finger and grab an A at the top here, which is a 17th fret on the high E string. So our full arpeggio shape, our form so far, is going to be... And there's our minor shape. Now, the major shape is going to be very similar. Obviously, we're just changing the minor thirds to major thirds. So I'm going down to G. And I like to play with these two here because you could use them relative. You could use them in the same key. But more on that in another lesson. Let's get, uh, let's get our technique going here. I'm going G, which is, uh, now we got 10th fret on the A string, 14th fret on the A string. We have a, a bar here with my second finger or the middle finger. Um, so it's 12th fret D string, 12th fret G string, 12th fret B string, uh, high E string 10th fret, and then once again I'm going to grab that high octave, the G in this case is 15th fret on the high E string. Now those are the notes that we're going to use for today's exercise. The key to the sweet picking I believe is in what's called the rest pick. So what that means is this, if I just hold this chord shape for a second here, for now I'm just going to use this A minor uh, bar chord as an example. The key, I believe, is in the rest pick. Now if you notice, when I play this first note here, I'm resting my pick on the next available string. So moving on to the next note here, I rest on the G string. So now when I play the G string, I'm obviously resting on the B string, here I'm resting on the high E and then the high E, you're kind of free to go there. Now the, arpe uh, the arpeggio that I gave you has two notes on the beginning string, we'll call it, which in this case is the A string, two notes on the ending string, in this case the high E. So yes, I am going to have an alternate pick, so it's going to go down pick, up pick. This is where my sweep is going to begin when I'm using this uh, arpeggio form here. So there's my rest pick, there's my rest pick, there's my rest pick, alternate pick, and then I'm coming back down, rest pick going the opposite way now, 
press pick going the opposite way once again. And there's your technique. So I'm going to play this one slow for you. Now it is a little tricky barring here. So this is one thing that you need to be careful of. When you're barring the 14th fret on the D and G string, you've got to be careful not to nab that B string and get that major third, so you really need to arch just a little bit so that you're able to hear that minor third when you're getting over there. Okay, so now let's walk through the G major arpeggio, and I'm going to try to give you that same angle here. So, down pick, up pick, this is where the rest pick begins, pick, 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 alternate pick there, coming back down, this is where the rest pick starts going descending, there's your G major arpeggio. Now I'll give you just a quick little idea on how you can start to use it with a metronome if my iPhone would turn on, thank you very much. I have my metronome in my iPhone. I'm sure a lot of you do too. So I have it set to 92. Uh, I'm going to slow to medium tempo just so we can walk through a couple of examples here. So the first thing you might want to think about doing is um, some palm muting. The reason is you can really hear you can really hear each tick, 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 tick of the pick going across the strings, you can really hear if you're getting all of those notes in there. So, uh, a suggestion is start with triplets. So notice I'm just doing a sequence of two, ro uh, two rounds on the A minor, two rounds on the G minor of triplets. And then you can move to your 16th notes. And if you're feeling a little aggressive, you're feeling a little happy about how your playing is going, go to your 16th note triplets, which is six notes per click on your metronome. And like I said, that's 92 on the metronome. So work with the tempos that are best for you. What I wanted to show you today was the technique to get you rolling. Hope you enjoyed today's lesson on sweet picking. I'll turn off my metronome because I know how annoying it is for everybody to listen to when there's nothing else going on. So uh, there's your free lesson for today. Hope you enjoyed it. See you at the next lesson. Practice, practice, practice. Have fun.